Trent, you've moved your own furniture in and out of the I, office. I also had my own company for many years. My problem is as follows. For, for many years, decades, uh, the CEO of any large corporation made anywhere from 50 to 100 times as much as the guy in the shop yeah, floor. Yeah, we yeah, all know yeah, these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20 to 30, actually. Uh, 20 to 30. Yeah. Um, and in the Eisenhower years, it was yeah. 20 to 30. Good thing about and just a, and we, <laughs> just a minute. And yeah, they yeah, attracted. Oh, can I finish, please? <laughs> they attracted good people to run these companies. Yes. People who were uh, had a certain degree of probity. Uh, they were wor they worried about their employees. Mm -hmm. And they made 30, 40 times as much as a guy in the shop floor. Mm -hmm. Now, how can we possibly justify the excesses that we've seen where we're not talking 30, we're not talking 300, we're talking 3,000 or even higher? How do we justify that? No, now, I gotta just, let me who finish. Is, who is we? As, we, we as a society. Exactly. No, as, a make no, new rules? as a shareholder, as a, right. a shareholder in these companies, it makes me sick to see these people being paid for being competent. What's between people who are simply bureaucratically running a company and getting paid no matter what they do, and those are who are risk takers. Mm -hmm. As an ex-risk taker, as an ex-person uh, who is yeah, in business, okay. I don't mind. They, they can pay what they want because they're not playing with my money, they're playing with their own money. But it really bothers me to see someone in running a bank or something else is, up until now at least, pretty good. Well, no, no, I'm sorry, finish. that's the up until let, now part that is... Let me finish, let me finish. Look, they're being paid so much in one year, they can, they, they can, they can retire on one year's yeah, salary. Yeah. That's obscene. That in 2007, when everybody was making 30% a year, did anybody complain about any CEO making $20 million yes. a year? Yes. 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 Absolutely. This was a major public policy and debate, Glenn, and you lost it. You can't. Well, no, 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 we're winning it. You can't have society in North America that, as Peter pointed hey, out, hey, pays hey, 300 to 1 I ratio mean, to Glass Steagall. Right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm still <laughs> living in it. When Asia, Bro, I'm still in you West have an opportunity. I can't believe he's in the same side. I can't believe I'm in West <laughs> now. Progressive conservative. I'm from New Brunswick. I'm not from West Bound. These guys. This is the new progressive conservative. Now you want this one. He's the best in the business. You really want him. But he has to be paid ten million dollars. Otherwise, you won't get him. No, that's let him go somewhere else. Where's he going to work? That's it. No, he's not. But you know where it starts, David. You know where it starts. You know where it starts, David. This is serious. You know where it starts. It doesn't even start with these guys. And I love these guys. But the money guys. It doesn't start there. You know where it starts. It starts in the hockey rings. It starts with the basketball oh, courts oh, with kids. Right. It starts when you look at athletes. It starts when families well, can't feed their kids no, 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 and pay $150 for a ticket to a hockey rink. It starts when overgrown teenagers on steroids are paying $20 million to bounce a ball around. It starts with the value card in our society. We need to change our education. We need to change how we think. And we need to give kids new heroes. That's where it starts. And then we wouldn't get the John Day with the $180,000 carpet. You know what? And maybe if they went into business, they wouldn't have 180 dollars not to mention fifty million dollar claims after getting bailouts. Well, hey, you're missing a great opportunity, a great chance. I'd rather, to I'd rather up the salaries of MPs. So get everybody. Yes. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen to the voice. Look at the face and listen to the voice. We have a new voice. Speak. I have a question for Glenn. Yes. Yes. You seem to be exhibiting a great deal of optimism that things are going to change yes. and also at a certain point of time you said that uh, you've been witnessing a great deal of stupidity and things that did not work in the system. Yes. What did not work in the system? What is the stupidity you're, you're referring to? And I, I'm not trying to make a link. I know, with, with the, the previous conversation. Previous conversation that was stupid, that's fine. Uh, yeah. that, 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 that linkage that I'm talking about is a linkage between fear and greed. And, and there's a fundamental linkage, and this is what broke down for all of us. And, you know, I, I'm, uh, and again, clearly I don't understand what's going on because I'm not aware of what's going on tomorrow. But what is clear is that we all have to take responsibility of what's going on. Fear and greed are fundamental to people. So we all got stupid. We all accepted stupidity. We all accepted that the world was... Capitalism was great, and finance, you can make money with whatever. There was stupidity going on. Well, some of us are courageous and generous. 
<laughs> Most were poor. Some of us were poor. To be courageous and generous. Yeah, but he poured some great feelings. And there was a lot of people that were courageous and generous. My 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 issue is fundamentally a lot of people knew they were doing things that were wrong. They were borrowing money. They were doing everything that we were taught from kids. My generation. I'm only 45. Great hair side. Um, I was taught that you know you had to have a certain amount of money down before you bought something. You had to have a certain amount of, and we all kind of got sucked into a system that said that it's okay and it's wrong. We knew it was wrong. It's like taking candy from the jar because your kid is not, you know, dad's not there. It's wrong. You knew it was fundamentally wrong. Everybody knew it was wrong, but the system got bent because we accepted this. Yeah, individually bent the Individually, system. we all bent the system. We're all responsible. And, and, and Obama and I, and I'm agnostic on this stuff, but individually we all have to take responsibility for being part of a system that said it's easy. It's not easy. Money is not easy. Working for money is not easy. Money making money is not easy. It's wrong. And we got sucked into a system that was deviant from our upbringing to say that it was okay. And now we're paying the price. Some and are paying good, more prices than others. It's big the, it's price the guys for some. at the top that aren't paying the price. That's yeah. the problem.